Where is your spouse from? She's from Palestine. And he's from Pakistan. I'm from Bangladesh. And I'm from Nigeria. He's from Baghdad, Iraq. And she's from Jacksonville, Florida, Gatorland. I'm from Pakistan originally. And my wife, she's from Cleveland, she's an Afro-American. He's from Egypt. She's from Pakistan. My spouse is from Alexandria, Egypt. And she is from like Southern Maryland. Like, <laughs> like Southern Maryland. <laughs> yeah, pretty Southern Maryland. Yeah. She's from Pakistan. And he's originally Italian, Irish, and German. My spouse is white British from Sheffield, UK, and I'm from London, UK, but my parents are from India. He's from India. And she's from Pakistan. <laughs> He's from UK. And she's from Maryland. He's from Ethiopia. And this stranger is from Pakistan. My spouse is from Egypt and I'm from India. He's half Guyanese and half Pakistani. And he's half Pakistani and half African American. I'm from Palestine and my wife is from Pakistan. He's Hyderabad Indian. And she is half Cuban, half German, Irish, English. Basically, white American. Spouse is from Lahore, Pakistan, and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. My wife, she's Dominican, uh, from South Seattle. My husband is from Baltimore. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's it. I'm West African. My mom is from Sierra Leone, but I root step from Guinea. Since That's she true. don't know. Would you be okay if your kids married someone of a different ethnicity as long as they're Muslim? Yes. Yes, we don't care what ethnicity, what race. We want them to marry anybody for any of this. They're Muslim and I have no problem. My oldest son got like, married at the Koreans. My daughter, she got married. His background is Irish, Italian. My third, we got married. Background is, her, is German, American. I was born and raised in India. My daughter in law is white, white American. Islam is the one thing you can do. all men carry the good. I'm from Pakistan. Oh, yes, so or not. Yes. It doesn't matter. As long as they're Muslim, I'm fine. Yes, they agree to do so. And then say, absolutely, I agree with them. So, it's a sunnah. I like to encourage my children and our religion. Yes, as long as they're right, I should say, me too. Culture becomes secondary. In Umma, we, we have no bounds of culture or language, anything. I'm from Egypt. 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 I'm from Muslim, you be my nationality is, is good. I'm from Morocco. Where is your husband from? From Pakistan. Oh, Why is he from Morocco? Yes. <laughs> Where did you meet each other? Sophia had an exhibition at Namunamu. At the gallery. Yeah. And then from there, we hung out for a little while and then got married. In, in college. We met in California on a family vacation. We met while we were working together at Helping Hands. So we met at camp, um, a camp in Philadelphia, and it just happened out of nowhere. We met because my older sister and him worked together. We met doing research in a lab at MIT. University of Maryland, College Park. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We met at work. So I was at a friend's wedding in Los Angeles and I was talking to my friends, I'm looking for somebody. And one of their wives said I know somebody in Chicago. And I was her. Years later, you done met up and got married. I'm doing that. From 14 to now, <laughs> she began to wonder. No, I'm doing that. I describe what your Eve clothes are. Um, so I'm wearing a Palestinian tote. I got it from a Facebook auntie. Traditional Kurdish clothes. We're from Kurdistan. This is a conga from Zanzibar. Picked up on a honeymoon. This is uh, uh, this is from Bangladesh. It's a uh, kurta from Bangladesh. I'm wearing kind of this Afghani fit. It's beaded and it really represents kind of the culture and the artisans. My Eid outfit is a Bobadi girl from Nigeria. This is the outfit. It comes in three, pe four pieces. The big one. It is all handmade. Then when you wear it, you go like this. 
and this is where the kings were. We all got this from Saudi. Originally from Mali. Mali. Shivani jacket, Salar from Lahore. Got the design over here by Z, which is me. Alphas are from Pakistan. Indonesia from Shela. Who's from Tajikistan? Indonesia. Indonesia. This I got it from Nomino. We went to the Somali Mall yesterday, mashallah. It's sequins, it's long, it's black, it's so neat. This is called Bazang, it's from West Africa, so all the West African countries usually Guinea, Senegal, Mali. I made it in Senegal and her bag is covered by Pakistani, we went to Pakistan and I got this and I just got a simple bracelet on. And he got the no socks. No socks usually. He looked dumb with them. It's something. What are you wearing and where is it from? I went to Maghrib for a couple of weeks and I dumped me Palestini, but I'm wearing a Maghrib clothes. <laughs> I'm Palestinian, but this is Moroccan. I'm from Jordan, the UAE, it's Arima. Kofopia. <laughs> This is from Indonesia. What I'm wearing right now is a uh, Guinean Fulani. My Amara is from Dubai. And this is a gift to me. His outfit is from Africa. This is called a Jubba Tunsiya. The traditional outfit uh, in Tunisia. This is a uh, made in Spethos, which is like a... I'm wearing a kurta. I don't know where it's from. My mom got it for me, so I have to wear it. Wait, this is a traditional Sudanese outfit. Kurtash boots. I got it from India, actually. I got the suits, I got the phone, and I got my kufeya, got for my birthday, straight from Qatar. My aunt got it for me from Jerusalem, and it's actually my favorite. This is from, this is from Turkey. My outfit is from uh, Senegal, my aunt made it for me. My uncle made it for me in uh, Senegal. My mom made it for me. My mom bought it for me in Dubai. And all of us was made in Senegal also. I guess I have a silk maiden style gown. This is the Cameroonian uh, traditional dress. And now we are And then the sport. Lovely. I don't even know what to call it. It's regular. This is from Allah. This is from Allah. This is from Allah. This is from Allah. Alhamdulillah. Shmag from Yemen. Uh, this is a waistcoat from Pakistan, and this is a thobe from Saudi. This is from Cameroon. I'm from Haiti, and these garments are from Cameroon. They're just traditional wear. This is Jambia. This is the Yemeni traditional. Zenna. This is our yeah, thobe. This is our fits in Yemen. Shan, Shan. I'm Syrian, but today I'm going outside of my culture. <laughs> Pakistani fit, right? I think I'm having really uh, like a lot of fun in this. So. <laughs> This is a blend of all colors put together in a very unique way. That's the only way you can describe it. <laughs> oh, I got this outfit from Somali Mall. I think it's from Morocco, but I'm not sure. I got it from my brother. So I can this is a handmade Kashmiri shawl. Africa And then I put the hijab as like a tribute. And I'm Ahmad. So I have a lion. It's like like and I have a hijab. I have gold stuff and diamonds and real gold. Where are you from? From Sydney. I'm from Egypt. We're from Pakistan. I'm from Nigeria. I, and I live in Maryland. Yeah. You're from home? Let's go. 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 let us go <laughs> I'm from my daddy's house. And it's a big house. He has neighbors. Aftercare. I am I'm from the school. I'm from my sister's house. Yeah. America. America. Uh, I'm from Angry Birds. You're from Angry Birds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is he really from? I know. Alright, where are you from? I'm from California. And where's your family from? My family is from Palestine. Sykesville, Maryland. 
And where's your uh, family from? Sykesville, Maryland. <laughs> I am from uh, Guinea, West Africa. Indonesia. Turkia, not Turkey. Turkey. How are you? I'm originally from Guinea, but I was born well, in the United How you States. been? I'm from Maryland, but my dad's side is from Cuba, and my mom's side is white. I am from Benin. We're both from Baltimore, Maryland, but my family's from Pakistan. My family's from India. My mother's from Jamaica, my father's from Baltimore, too. My family's from Pakistan, and I live in Kingsville. Uzbekistan. Hi, uh, I'm from Bangladesh. Uh, she's from Bangladesh also. Uh, I'm from Baltimore. And where's your family from? Uh, originally from California. Uh, we came here in 1957. I'm uh, from Bangladesh and here in Baltimore. I'm from Maryland. And where's your family from? Pakistan. I'm a Palestinian American. I am from Sierra Leone, West Africa. I was born here, but I'm Bengali. And I'm from New York. I'm from Pakistan. I'm from Pakistan. And from Maryland, but my family is from Palestine. What's your favorite food from your culture? My favorite Matlube, it's made of lamb and eggplants. It's a very traditional Palestinian food and it's our favorite. Menakish. This is our favorite food, the beignet, made with beans. I call it dolma. Dolma is stuffed vegetables. It can be grape leaves, it can be uh, onion, it can be stuffed peppers. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> Same. Yeah, chip. Yeah, chip. 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 Too many uncle, aunties, cousins. My mom is the youngest of seven. When you look at everything, first cousin, second cousin, third cousin, fourth cousin, fifth cousin, sixth cousin. Like, and by the way, his grandfather knows my grandfather. We're all deep. I have ten siblings, including me. Cousins, Najia, Talha, Howard. Fifty, like, cousins. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Way too many. Maybe over hundred. My family, you know, typical American family. I had one brother. My husband is from Benin in West Africa. He's got brothers who aren't really brothers. He just calls them brothers. I honestly have no idea the exact size of it. If I invite them, okay, about 50, 60 or 70 people come to my to my dinner. It's all spread all over America, all over Karachi, even in India. I'd say I have so many uncles and cousins that I cannot count it. Big African. Um, Family. One of my aunts, I think she had 23 great grandchildren and nine children. <laughs> I am the oldest in my family. Seven grandchildren, eight great grandchildren. Father came from a very small family, but he had a large family. He had 11 children, and then you know he has a lot of grandchildren and uh, great grandchildren and great great grandchildren. My grandma made a, a appeal to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Oh Allah, I have only one son. Give him at least 21 children and grandchildren. I think that the du'a was fulfilled. I have way too many to count, but I love them all equally. Coffee or tea? Coffee. 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 It has flavor. It has flavor. Yeah. I'm definitely tea. I'm a coffee all the way. I'm free. And in the morning, tea doesn't wake you up. It's more of like a coffee is like, oh my gosh, it's time to go. I don't need coffee. I have tea. If no chai, no morning. Chai is the first thing that comes to our throat and wakes us up. Tea, it just tastes good. Coffee's too American. I like coffee, but sometimes I like chai when I'm feeling dizzy. Tea, I just don't like coffee. See, my mom drink it every day. I think I'll take coffee. I like cold coffee though. Tea, I'm a coffee guy. Chai, absolutely. It's just so much better. Why would anyone like coffee? I prefer coffee because I don't drink tea. I really grew up around tea. Green tea. Coffee. Both. You gotta have both. Okay. Coffee. I'm, I'm basically a green tea person. Honey, chai because I'm thank you. And chai because I love Pakistani people. Chai wins in the evenings and in the morning. Only chai if you make it yourself though, not from Starbucks. Tea. Because tea good, is good. And coffee is not for kids. And coffee is really disgusting. Well, Karak Chai I think is better than coffee. Karak is a really, really, really good tea. I like both of them. Chai. Coffee. Chai puts me to sleep. Mango juice. <laughs>
What languages do you speak? We speak Spanish at home. Hablamos español en la casa. Arabic and English. Uh, I speak four languages, but not all fluently. So English, of course. Uh, French, bonjour, ça va. Wolof, nangadef, uh, magnifique. Uh, and also pidgin. Uh, so how, how na? Usa you digo? Bengali. From, from Bangladesh. I speak two languages, English and German. Hallo, wie geht es euch? I lived in Istanbul for a few years, so I picked up a little bit of Turkish. Türkçe biliyor musunuz? I speak French. I spent some years in Mali, so I speak Bamara. I'm originally from Cameroon. I speak a Douala language from Cameroon as well. I speak two, English and Indonesian. English, Urdu, and Punjabi. I speak Jongwen, or Chinese. Um, Rosha by Yunnan. So that's my Chinese name. Arabi and English. English and Spanish. Hola, como estas? So I speak French and Zorma. Tree and English, obviously. We'll have to say. Yeah, I speak I mean, Arabic, English, and a little bit of sign language. I speak a little bit of sign language. I'm trying French. Arabic, Arabic, Persian, Urdu. Speak English and a little bit of Spanish. Follow from Senegal. La quinta tarde por Arabia. Habla español. Parla italiano. Je parle français. La quinta la tarde por Urdu. No, just speak Urdu. But I speak all the language. How long have you been coming to this question? 1971. When there was no masjid. 1981. Have the comments since before they started when was this grass. 1984. So then for 15 years, you can hurt all the animals, boys, snakes come down. I came, Marpani was not there. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lead here, two were here. On the grass. I think it was in the 70s. We've been coming to this question since it was built. Land was purchased around 34, 76. And the ground breaking in 82 and completed in 83. I'm with him 40 years. I'm with him 40 years. Before they had this park, in the late 80s, 20 years, more than 30 years, they're tiny, only one room. Well, probably about the same amount of time they first built it, late 80s to early 90s. 1984. 1995, since they landed, two years ago. 1989. 1989. 1989. Like 20 years. 1981. This mask was a really small mask. I'm here since 1973. For the past 20 years. 1974. 76. Since 1984. I've been coming here ever since there was a barren field here. 79. Like 15 years I have been coming. When I was in Iceville, I'm coming to Masjid Now I bought house close by. My, my family can walk to come to Masjid Ramah. Where are you from? California. California, Los Angeles. From France, but I'm Moroccan. I'm from Germany. Turkey. Indonesia. Cambridge, England. France, France, Holland. Uh, they are Turkish. At uh, mine, I am Palestinian. Palestine. I'm from India. French County, California. Good. 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 Cambridge, UK. We are from Nazareth. Where is the most random place you've ever prayed? I think in the forest. In the UMD library. Niagara Falls. And a random street in Egypt. I've prayed the desert Sahara before. I've prayed that place. I'm going to up right back in a minute. Well, I had to pray one moment. Like, I put my mat on the side of the car. And up there. My hiding place is the door. It's not going to be a library. Yeah. Miami Beach, Montana, a hotel, Project Housing. A random parking lot. We were on a road trip, it was Fedger, so we all just got out and prayed on t-shirts. On the concrete. The McDonald's parking lot. Like an IG warehouse. Passenger seat in the car. Memorial Park and the staircases leading up to the upper deck. Prayed right outside of a store. People just kept walking by, staring at me, wondering what I'm doing. I was hit by a car and while I was waiting for the cops, I just got a piece of cloth and I prayed on the parking lot. If you have somewhere, then it is a time to pray. I just find the direction of the prayer place, I pray and then between cops. As long as clean. As long as clean, I'm fine. You used to be an industrial yard. They, they, they paved it a long time ago. You see in a nice little shaded spot. Got a couple of nice little trees. You broke out the rug. It was a blessing. They even had a little water faucet that you can hook up and get some water. So 
that to me was a sign for the lost one more dollar. This is a good thing for me. Where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. I'm from Delaware. <laughs> I think I'm from Tennessee, but originally I'm from Morocco. Lahore, Pakistan. I'm from Baltimore, but I was born in Albany. The best city in Pakistan. Not really. <laughs> I'm from Boston, originally from Tanzania. My mother's African American and my dad a lawyer Tamil. His background was Lebanese. I'm originally from India. And I'm from Pakistan. I'm from New Jersey and I'm originally half Libyan and half Egyptian. I'm from Nigeria. North Carolina. My family's from Sierra Leone, but I was born in Virginia and raised in Florida. I'm from Canton, Michigan. My family's originally from Palestine and I'm from Maryland. I'm from Albany, New York, originally from Afghanistan. From Philadelphia. Originally I'm from Turkey. My father's from Burma, which actually was considered Myanmar some time ago. And my mother is black, she's from Boston. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I was born in Raleigh, North Carolina. And my family is from Afghanistan. My heritage is Egyptian. Virginia. I live in Maryland, but I'm from Pakistan. I also live in Maryland, but I'm from Ethiopia. I am from Virginia by way of Morocco. Originally from Syria. Originally I'm from Bangladesh. I was born in South Africa. I lived about 20 years in Canada. I went back to South Africa for another 20 years. And now I'm living in the beautiful city of Istanbul. I am from Turkey, not Turkey, Turkey. I'm here to represent ISP Islamic State of Baltimore. May Allah bless you. I love all of you. What's something you want non-Muslims to know about Islam? We want peace and I actually love Jeffrey. Islam is for everyone. The Prophet Muhammad's last speech was no white man is greater than a black and no black man is greater than a white and no woman is greater than a man and no man is greater than a woman except in deeds. Islam is very pro-women. Islam promotes fulfilling our rights and it empowers us. Don't confuse various cultures or countries' governments with our religion. Islam did not start with Prophet Muhammad All the prophets were Muslim. We were your neighbors, we were your co-workers. The driver next to you, right, in traffic. We're not strangers, we're not dangerous to you. Well, same thing with the Christians. We don't hate Jews, we don't hate Christians, we don't hate Buddhists, but we teach love. We are kind hearted, empathetic, peaceful people that only want for everyone basic human rights to be respected. Islam is a religion of peace, and we like to help people. Islam is not just a religion, it's a way of life, and you not to be scared of Islam. And we like to have fun. I think a lot of people feel like Muslims are like these uptight, super strict people. It's a lot of fun in Islam. People think that Islam has an angry God. I think Islam is the most forgiving religion. When you do something wrong, there is no middleman. All they have to do is call out to God, tell him, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm sorry. And you fix it, and it's over. Muslims are the most welcoming, most kind people I've ever met. That's why I'm here. We shouldn't have to say that we are not terrorists. Muslims should not have to defend themselves. Other religions do not have to defend themselves. Before you judge Islam, come visit the mosque. What's a green flag in a friendship? Somebody is honest, so you can give it to them, you know? Ever, when they check up on you or try to hang out with you, make plans. It's a good sense of humor. So, when you call me, you see the people on it? It's like a slap. Someone that's there for you. I know that they'll like keep whatever you say to themselves. For me, it's an intellectual, someone who has like a tie to their inner intelligence. For me, someone who's reliable and trustworthy. Someone who can hold me accountable for what I want to do in life and my goals. And someone who has goals for themselves. Someone who just want the back line. Selflessness, someone who wants good for you just as much as they want for themselves. Being loyal, being respectful, honesty, and loyalty. Where you're able to share things with each other without there being some kind of friction or you guys or being afraid that your friend is going to make fun of you. Someone that you can like share things with. You're a friend that keeps it real. So if you tell them a secret, first of all, you know that you can trust them. But also you know that they'll give you the best advice and they'll tell you what you need to hear rather than what you want to hear. <laughs>
is for you, ma'am. This is called Anjaya and Anjaya. And in this case, if you refresh the whole chicken, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. This is weird. It's a finger snack, very popular in the northern south of Africa. Made up of beef, a lot of people cut. Very spicy. Yes. And sometimes you get this half onions and food by the story. So it came from India when they went to Trinidad. Indian probably don't recognize it now because based on what ingredients they had in when they got there, you know, they missed out some, they added different things. So for Chinese, uh, you can have the boiled, grated, roasted, fresh, or cooked. You call it a chanata, and it's very famous in Africa. There are many variations of it. They can be a salsa chanata, they can be a more chanata. And the ingredients are very easy. Like the desi version of chickpea salad. Words are not. I want to read everything. The greatest, and he made us special. And we must believe in him and not idols. God. Allah gives me. When I ask somebody, can you please have candy? That's all my Allah. Allah is the creator of all creations. Create the best in Allah is the with Dal is the all hearing, all knowing. Allah is powerful. One. A clear The God that we worship as Muslims is the creator of the entire world. Creator of the heavens and seas. Allah is one God. Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Allah is special. He's so created. He created us and the animals. He made the laws together and they come to the garden. Allah is one God. And Allah spoils us and loves us and he won't let Jaydan be. They hurt us. They made the compass and we spoil them. He's kind and we love him so much. I don't know. You don't know? What do your parents tell you? They tell me I love you. Why do you wear hijab? In Islam, women wear hijab not because of their husband, not because of their mother. They wear hijab only for the sake of Allah. Back in high school, I had this event. It made me realize how much God loves us. So I decided that freshman year of college, I'm going to start wearing hijab. I put it on and I felt like I had been wearing it my entire life. It elevates me. I feel like it takes me beyond all the objectification that happens in like, our bodies as women. And it's saying that like you're more than just your body. You are you know, an amazing brain, an amazing heart. It gives me freedom. Well, I wear hijab because first and foremost, it is a command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and Muslim women are supposed to wear hijab. We always need to know the why behind why we do something or why we're required to do something. So hijab is a protection and hijab is a liberation. That hijab is not just about what you're wearing and how you're covering yourself, but it's all about your character and the strength that you have. Um, and a yeah, Muslim woman's character goes beyond the hijab. Hijab is not just something you wear, it's your character. I just wanted to take more steps to get closer to my being and just feel physically, spiritually, closer to Islam and I do it to express myself. I wear the hijab to show my modesty and my fashion and my devotion to Muslim and to like express my culture outside of me because I feel beautiful and I feel valuable and I do it to praise it. So the hijab is also a sign of modesty. She said because they need to create um, and that's what we need to do. Because like my sister inspired me to do it and also I would come to ISB a lot and I've seen like the beauty of hijab. Initially for pure vanity. <laughs> because I put all these cleansers on my face and it makes me so sensitive to the sun. I want to stay looking good. It protects me from all of the bugs and things. It's not biting me. <laughs> and this provides spiritual protection no matter where I go. Join me, Nikabi! How would you serve guests at an entire party? Fried chicken, chicken sandwiches, pizza, more fried chicken. <laughs> Lasagna and pancakes because I'm weird like that. Bobs, rice, and then maybe switch it up and get some American things like mac and cheese. And traditional Turkish pork with mango juice. Gold up there, I guess. I don't know. The only thing you're gonna find in my fridge is probably like broccoli, salmon, a lot of pre-workout, maybe some creatine. Perk Thai, samosas. For me it would be like jalap rice and chicken, you know, jalap rice, yeah. I would do piaggi and biguni. So it's a lent fried lentil and fried eggplant. <laughs> also a Bengali dish. Area tacos. Biryani tacos, jollof rice, biryani, biryani, yeah, chicken tikka, samosa, kucha, you know. Alfredo pasta, because that's what I'm getting. Watermelon, because you only have to have watermelon. <laughs> the other night, my mom were making some spring rolls, and uh, they went away like this. Like everyone ate them, everyone enjoyed them. Halim, Halim is the kind of like the beef. Maybe like something sweet, maybe. Like I have like chocolate. I cannot decide. Samosas, 
in South Asia and that's kind of our go-to for stars anyways. I'll serve uh, chicken nuggets uh, and french fries. I will serve some Noto Southern Bice. Shout out to my man Ahmed who owns it and a red bread. What did you eat for support? Dates with bananas and almond milk. Yogurt the first day and then basically Pakistani food with roast. A lot of dates and a full big glass of milk. Some leftovers from last night at Red Bull. Ramen noodles. And I had a date, cereal, coffee, and water. Arabic drinks called Kamaruddin. Okay, we had roti with yogurt, yogurt. and lots of fruit yeah. and dates. Yeah. Ramen noodles. I had some sushi. Minced meat. I'm trying to uh, cut down my calves to lose my some belly. I ate overnight oats for Sahur. It's my favorite thing to eat. I didn't wake up for Sahur. I had a tuna sandwich. I miss support. Cereal, uh, um, breakfast bar, and some milk. Veggie eggs and uh, sweets. I had a date bar. Meal with blueberries and strawberries. Four chicken patrons, banana, a bowl of cereal, and a half a cup of chai. Other bowls, which is potatoes and goat. I made overnight oats. Didn't get around to eating them, uh, but I will be eating my overnight oats tomorrow morning. Nothing, but I made through the day, alhamdulillah. A bowl of strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> it's very silly. I had leftover falafel from his tour. And I had ISBM tour. That's nice. And I did have leftover ISBM tour since so I worked at ISBM. What did you break your fast with? I ate a date. 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 I ate spaghetti. I had dates and water. It's a mud and water. I had some dates. I had a fruit cup with pears. I first drank water. Then I ate. Uh, a meal, pizza, I might have no idea. I eat fruits for and tea. I like hot tea. Just get one uh, date. Rocket pancake called Bagrin. I had a date this morning. Timber and water. Yeah. Dates and uh, chicken. I have broken my flesh with dates and water. Dates and water. Dates and water. First food I had was. Uh, Similar to Chipotle, right? It's some water. Can you eat a date? Yeah, Too much of this. Uh, protein shake, like they put a couple of fruits, like the citrus fruits. I don't eat very much. I come off. Uh, and I watch the meat. Yeah, yeah, and that. What are you making to offer this Ramadan? My brothers and sisters in Palestine. I'm also making to offer this. Yeah, yeah. Dad, Dad and Palestine. <laughs> Of the Omar, the most past and present, uh, future, uh, myself, my family. Palestine, be the people of Palestine. So the brothers and sisters in Palestine, and I also want to just make dua for all of us that Allah accepts our fast. I mean, I'm so would like to make dua for my babies. I love you. I want to make a dua for the Palestinians and for all the Muslims. To memorize the Quran and go to Jannah. I'm going to be making dua for our Palestine and for my grave. This session is going to be making duas to go to Umrah. It's a blessing for everybody, especially for the Muslim people and Kashmir people. We pray for everybody, it's like blessing for the whole world. For my parents and my friends, inshallah, and Palestine. Family back home. Where's that? All right. For patience, all the Muslims around the world are being oppressed. And may Allah give them sober, and may we learn from them and be better Muslims. I'm making dua for my friends, my family, my co-workers, Gaza, Haiti, for the world to just know what love is and to get closer to Allah. Palestine and for Peace in Gaza. Peace in Palestine. Inshallah. 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 Malikum, where are you from? I'm from Paris. From Pakistan, the whole. Turkey. 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 <laughs> Indonesia. Indonesia. Egypt. Egypt. Uzbekistan. Indonesia. Algeria. Uzbekistan. I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan. You're from Pakistan. Where are you from? I'm here from Jersey, but my dad's Afro-Latino and my mom is Sri Lankan and Black. I am Afro-European as well as African-American. 
I am from Baltimore, Maryland, but I live in Philadelphia. I'm from India. I'm from Vietnam and Korea. Dallas, Texas. Actually, let me try that again. I mean, if I'm going to be honest, I should speak the truth, right? <laughs> All right, where are you from? Kentucky. I'm from Virginia. I'm from Turkey. So I'm from Virginia, but I'm Afghan. I'm from Virginia, and I'm Mauritania. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm from Algeria, and I'm from Egypt. I'm from Bloomington, Indiana, but I'm really from Gaithersburg, Maryland. I'm originally from East Lansing, Michigan. I grew up in Miami and I am Cuban and Tunisian. That's my twin brother Mohammed, aka Hoofiness. We're from Orlando. Oh. Can we get it, mashallah? Mashallah! I am from California with Egyptian roots. We're in from East Texas. I'm from Long Island, New York, but my parents are Bengali. I'm also visiting from North Carolina, I'm Liberian and Tanzania. I'm from Georgia, I'll actually Dallas a little bit, but I'm Gambian. Hi, I'm from Vietnam. I'm from Pakistan, Malaysia, and Senegal. I'm from North Carolina. Chicago. Bronx, New York. North Carolina and from Morocco. North Carolina, Tanzania, and Liberia. So I'm by way of Jacksonville, Florida. Lived in Virginia. I'm Aisha Prime. Shout out to Islamic Society Baltimore.